Beef is a really good show. You should watch it. It's a very, very good show. But we're here to talk about a different kind of beef. Sniper Wolf just doxed Jack's films, and to understand why, we have to go back. Sniper Wolf is a mega YouTuber that's been on the platform for a very long time, gaining popularity from various types of content like streaming, cosplaying, unboxing, etc. But her recent niche has been reaction videos. It's heavily debated whether the genre is ethical or not. But the answer to that debate can't be as easy as a firm yes or no. Some of the main criticisms of reaction content is that it's lazy content, it's stealing from the original creators. My stance is there's nothing wrong with reaction content as long as the original content is not shown it in its entirety or if it is shown it in its entirety, there's pause and play happening where proper and valuable commentary is being made or the original piece of content is chopped up and added with commentary thus creating a new piece of content i think as long as there's like meaningful transformation and valuable commentary that adds to the conversation or adds to the topic of the original content i think that's valuable and i think that's a new piece of content and i don't have a problem with that but Two of the biggest React streamers in the world also happen to be the absolute worst examples of what React content should be. So it's no wonder that the entire genre gets a bad rep from just looking at these two. Their idea of reaction content is to basically just sit there silently or just vaguely explain exactly what's happening on screen. There's no conversation happening there's no meaningful commentary happening share your opinion what are you watching how do you feel about it like talk say it's it's not that hard to even do it but they, they can't even do that bare minimum and the worst part is they do little to nothing to credit the original creators and so all of the traffic just flows to these guys and consider they're multi-millionaires like, like they're making an insane amount of money from basically other people's content which again if they were making meaningful content and they were actually adding meaningful commentary i would have no problem with their content because i think at that point it's fair use but they're literally just like they're just sitting there why do people watch this i don't get it i don't understand why they're so popular in the first place i mean i do their audio is largely younger people and younger people don't have enough life experience to understand why it's damaging why their channel is so damaging we're gonna get into that a little bit later in the video and for full disclosure I work for a reaction channel we're called the normies where we do mainly reaction content so this hits close to home because we're part of this conversation I stand by our content I think we do as much as we can to transform what we're watching and add meaningful commentary to try to turn it into a brand new piece of content and we do our best to be on the right side of this debate we do agree that there needs to be some rules some regulations some some kind of code of ethics like there definitely needs to be a standard but it's just like it's hard to figure out what that standard is or what that looks like but like i said sniper wolf is one of the absolute worst examples of what react content should be and she's basically been accused of just stealing people's content not crediting them and just making a ton of money off of them and this is where jack's films enters the chat jack's films is a youtube og he's been on the platform for like 17 years and lately you could say he's arguably sniper wolf's biggest critic he does a really good job laying out exactly why sniper wolf's content is problematic and it does little to nothing to drive traffic towards the original creators i'll link it in the description but this video is definitely worth watching to understand why sniper wolf is problematic and and reactors like her not just her alone while proper criticism is encouraged and warranted on youtube too much of anything can ultimately be a bad thing and this is where our beef hits the griddle jack's films created a second channel called jj jack's films to be a parody of ss sniper wolf the whole channel is just satire and parody and it's basically jack reacting to sniper reacting to content and then he grades her performance at the end but the thing is because this channel is solely targeting sniper wolf 
it's largely being seen as harassment, which is unfortunate because one of the biggest reasons for Jack's channel is to credit the people that Sniper Wolf isn't. Along with grading her performance in these videos, he also takes the time to credit all of the videos that Sniper Wolf was reacting to because she doesn't take the time to uh, credit them. And I don't see anything wrong with that. I, I can only commend that. In my opinion, Jack is doing good work and I it's hard not to be on his side on this one. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more digging to you know firmly make my stance but so far I, I feel like i'm on jack's side on this one but targeting just one creator when there's so many problematic reactors and problematic creators out there it's eventually going to be seen as harassment and unfortunately the intended messaging of your mission is gonna get muddied and it has it's really interesting to see the response to all this because it's like the word harassment is definitely being thrown around and there's definitely an argument to be made for that but i think that people are also missing the part where like jack's purpose for these videos is to credit the creators that aren't being credited and i think that's is a pretty big part of why he does what he does and i think that's kind of being lost in the conversation but yeah man having a whole channel dedicated just to sniper wolf is is seems problematic i mean it definitely feels like he's got a personal vendetta against her my theory is jack wants to go after other creators too but he wants to like target his messaging and maybe do it one by one like if he succeeded with uh you know either getting sniper wolf to change her content or getting her deplatformed maybe next he was gonna change his channel name to jqc and you know go after you know the big guy himself i don't know if that's a good strategy it's it's like that's always going to be seen as is harassment so i i see that side of the argument as well but i think that jack is just trying to fight for the little guy and i have to agree with that i mean I, I i can only commend that he's going out of his way to credit people like consider all sniper wolf needs to do is just try a little bit harder with her commentary just make it a little bit more meaningful be very careful about crediting people i'm sure she has like a whole team of people helping her produce her content at this point so just like just credit people it's not that difficult it's not like a mountain's worth of work it's it's like it's it's quite literally the least you can do she's been criticized for this for a very long time so i'm sure she's aware of those criticisms and the fact that she hasn't done it by now in my opinion it just shows a person that that doesn't have the empathy for that she just doesn't care she doesn't have the empathy and i guess at this point her team doesn't have the empathy to do the bare minimum you know because like if she has an editor that editor could take the initiative to just like start crediting people be like oh yeah you know just put it in the description it's literally the least you can do but the fact that she hasn't done it tells me that she's never going to do it and that's why i think uh jack is going the extreme route of calling for deplatforming because i have to agree i don't think sniper wolf is the type of person that's ever going to take accountability or or have the maturity to to understand why what she's doing is so problematic cloud money is a hell of a drug you know and like i said i do have to dig a little bit deeper into the jj jacks films channel to just fully understand the the true intention and purpose of that channel but so far what i'm seeing is him uh, simultaneously criticizing a problematic youtuber as well as taking the opportunity to fight for the little guy and credit people that aren't being credited and i can only commend him for that as as a relatively new creator myself it is very nice to know that there are big creators out there that are willing to fight for the little guy and and you know be a voice for the smaller channels and smaller creators and that that is very comforting so it's it's as a content creator it's very hard for me to not be on jack's side but i do see how problematic it is that he's like solely going after sniper wolf when there's like so many other people uh to be talking about and um i don't know we'll just have to wait and see how this situation evolves and what what jack has to say about that i'm sure there's going to be a lot of response videos and all that good stuff coming you know this has been a 2023 boy it's man Oof, man we i might do a tier list for all the drama that's happened this year all of this leads us to a few days ago all of this bubbled to 
a moment where, you know, Sniper Wolf was on a shoot or something and she was very close to Jack's house and she posted this on her Instagram. Should I go visit Jack's films? He lives five minutes away from my shoot. And she put it up for a vote and surprise, surprise, she went. But not only did she go, she recorded the front of Jack's house and posted it to her millions of followers, effectively doxing Jack's films. At which point Jack responded promptly saying that he had been doxed and it was creepy, gross, violating behavior. He tagged YouTube and called for her to be demonetized and deplatformed. Understandably, he would be a little pissed. But as much as I don't like Sniper Wolf and disagree with Sniper Wolf, I will give her some grace in saying that if there was a creator out there that had a channel dedicated to making videos about me, obviously that's going to fuck with you. I can see her getting to like a boiling point where she, she was like, he's just five minutes away. I can just go deal with this. But like you have such a big platform and you have so much power with that platform that that's just like, it's just a no, no. That's just, you don't do that. And so when it happens, and she deleted the video or the picture or whatever she took and after Jack called it out she has the audacity to respond with accusing me of doxing is defamation I have no idea how to dox he literally posted his address on Google and said I threatened him and doxed him what do you mean you have no idea how to dox you, you just did it it's not like a secret there's not like a recipe there's not like an orientation with like a syllabus and like an instruction book doxing is like that's a very old term like you can't you can't play dumb on this one you can't be like i i didn't i didn't even know i'm sorry at least take some accountability it's been interesting to see how people are responding to this i think most people understand how fucked up this was but of course there's an army of uh you know sniper wolf simps uh, i mean people somehow still defending sniper wolf's actions and it's just wild to think that anybody could defend doxing like for anyone that thinks that doxing isn't a big deal i want you to understand that if anybody sees a celebrity or creator's address on the internet i think most people in their sane mind are gonna be like oh that's fucked up but they're not gonna engage with it they're not gonna go there when somebody is doxed the only people that are gonna show up to your door are people that are at best a little strange and at worst unpredictable and dangerous but in both cases the only person that would engage with doxing and actually show up to a stranger's house are people that are in some way going to be mentally unstable. So it is a very incredibly dangerous thing. And Jack has a wife and kids and it's just, it, it's disgusting. It's the most disgusting and heinous and intrusive thing you can do to someone. That's something that every content creator lives in fear of. You just don't know. You don't know who's out there or what their intentions are. And this is really messed up. And this should not be allowed to go unchecked this should be punished very severely especially because sniper wolf is an experienced content creator she's been here for years you know she's been here for a very long time she's been here long enough to understand how dangerous this is and how fucked up this is and i think that the consequences should be pretty severe for this for anybody really on sniper wolf's side you could be on her side about like you think that jack is like harassing her or whatever if you're defending her doxing it's like tell us your age without telling us your age i've seen comments that are like oh he should have just came out and talked she was just there to talk like an adult tell us your age without telling us your age because that is the exact type of confrontational and reactionary comment that like a teenager spews off topic real quick i wish that we could see people's age next to their screen names on the internet. Think about that for a second. Think about how many problems that would solve, how many arguments you would not get into because you're unknowingly arguing with like a fucking 12 year old. It, it still retains people's anonymity, you know? We still don't know who's on the other side, but you know how old they are. So if you read something very incendiary and racist, but it's got an 11 next to it, you're like, oh, okay. I can just ignore that and go on with my life. Oh my God. I'm petitioned to 
put people's ages next to their screen names on the internet, I think that would solve so many problems. But let's go on. It does not matter what you think about Jack or what you think about his content. You can think he's problematic. You can think he's a stalker. You can think he's harassing Sniper Wolf. Doxing is never okay. And I agree that there is an argument to be made that Jack's content could be construed as harassment. But again, in that case, you need to lawyer up and do things properly. You you are fucking, you're a mega celebrity at this point. You you have had enough internet experience to know how these things go down. Like there, there's just no reason for this to have happened. And again, I don't like her, but I'm going to give her the grace to say that this was a moment of anger and weakness, but what's done is done. You know, e even unintentional things like have consequences. You did something and it's fucked up and, and there should be consequences for it. But the thing is, I don't even think she feels bad because the next day she's posting pictures of like we show up to your house what are you doing sniper wolf is already making light of the situation as if stalking someone is a quirky thing to do no one should feel unsafe in their own home and thanks to sniper wolf my wife and i now do she doesn't give a shit so maybe i shouldn't either maybe i'm being too nice for giving her any amount of grace because she clearly it thinks it's funny and that's it's just fucked up man this is a really not okay thing to do at at the very least youtube should step in something needs to happen this is not okay this cannot be normalized this can not be normalized behavior this is a very awful thing that happened and and we need to i think make a fucking severe example out of this so that like no one dares to do this again and i honestly don't think anything is gonna happen uh sniper wolf makes too much money for each platform for them to want to do anything so i i honestly don't think that uh, i think something should happen but if nothing happens it's not gonna surprise me uh, you know because it's just it sucks I, it's a clear violation of uh, you know code of ethics terms of service and whatnot but uh we'll see we'll see if they have the balls to do anything about this one i don't think they will but i want to wrap up this video to talk about one element of this whole thing that no one really ever seems to talk about and that element is you the audience i want to talk about people and, and how they consume media also because there's a little bit of responsibility on your side not for this specific situation or anybody getting docs but more general stick with me it's going to make sense so like i said i work for a reaction channel called the normies and uh, recently a clip of us was featured in a legal eagle video where he was talking about xqc and how problematic his uh content is and we did not want to be compared to xqc so we commented on legal eagles video explaining like what our channel is and how we're different and he liked the comment so i think we're on the same page there we also made a response video explaining uh, what we do and and why we're different and obviously a lot of xqc defenders commented on that video so i commented to some of them and i was like hey why do you watch xqc because some people were like i know xqc is problematic but i still watch him and i was like why do you do that and the most common thing that was replied back is it's because i don't care and it makes sense. You're just coming home from work or you're just, you're just living your life and you just want to watch shit on the internet. And I don't want to have to think about citing sources and shit. So I understand when people are saying they don't care. But unfortunately, the way YouTube has evolved, it's become very easy to manipulate the system and steal revenue from places that it shouldn't be getting stolen from because there's no notion of like a royalty system on YouTube. Nothing like that exists right now. So it's very easy for these things to happen. Unfortunately, whether you like it or not, you are part of the equation and you don't have to care. It's not your obligation to care, but I would urge you to try to care. I would urge you to try to understand these issues a, a, a little better and see why they're problematic because continuing to let content creators like xqc and sniper wolf thrive at the fucking multi-million dollar level that they thrive at meanwhile they're just pooping out like meaningless empty content if you approach that with a level of apathetic like i don't care it's not my business please understand that that attitude threatens 
the future of content creation because why should a video essay channel dedicate nine months to crafting this beautiful intricate video when like 90% of that revenue is going to go to someone else because people are choosing to consume that content through someone else's channel. And again, it wouldn't be a problem if there was pause and play commentary going on. And I'm not talking about pause. Oh, unpause. I'm talking about like pause, give your thoughts, have a conversation, engage with your chat if you're streaming it, like a meaningful commentary. If that was happening, there's no issues here. But with creators like XQC and Sniper Wolf, they just sit there. And the audience continues to consume content through their channels because a lot of them don't care. They're too young to care. They don't have, you know, a lot of them are under 18 and, and they're kids and that they don't have the life experience to understand that this is problematic and it's it's hurting people's livelihood. So I'm gonna leave you with this. As much as content creators need to be ethical with their content consumers need to be ethical with their consumption and i know that that's not fair why should i have to give a shit i'm i already have enough things going on in my life i just want to watch shit on the internet why should i have to give a shit i'm sorry i'm sorry that the, that that things have evolved this way but you do you do have to give a shit and i urge you to give a shit and i urge you to give credit where credit is due you can keep watching xqc you can keep watching sniper wolf you can keep doing that just go to the original content and just engage with it in some way you don't have to re-watch the video give them a subscribe give them a like leave a comment engage with it in some way it's so meaningful for content creators to see any kind of engagement on their content because it keeps people motivated to make shit so that's that's kind of really it just do your best to give credit where credit is due i agree it shouldn't have to be your job to give a shit about any of this but unfortunately your consumption and the way you do it affects people's livelihood sometimes in catastrophic ways so i hope that resonates with at least one person and uh we'll just leave it there and we'll see how this situation evolves i'll make another video if it's warranted and uh yeah see ya